John Eats Cheap doing a little BK takeaway. Yeah, they got a couple of new sandwiches I want to try. So we're going to try the candied bacon whopper, which is the beef with uh, tomatoes, lettuce, crispy onions, creamy garlic aioli, bacon jam, and the candied bacon, sugar candied bacon. So we're going to try that. We're also going to try the cheesy tots, which if you have the app, spend a buck and cheesy tots are free. It's only four of them, but we're going to try that. And we're going to try the new fish sandwich too, the spicy fish sandwich. Oh, and they include uh, some ranch for the tots, I would imagine. So I'll try the tots first, so it'll try and be hot. Cheesy. Oh, a little cheesy. Hmm. Doesn't really taste like a tot to me, but almost tastes like a mac and cheese bite or something, doesn't it? That's what it tastes like to me, too. Hmm. All right. I think I'd rather have fries or the halvesies thing. Let's move on to this Whopper. Of course, they're having their million-dollar Whopper contest, too. There it is. Oh, I can smell that bacon or the bacon jam, something, crispy onion. I'm going to cut a cross section here. Ooh, good. A piece of bacon fell out, so I can try just the candied bacon. That's a sweet bacon. All right. Now, bacon jam is sweet. I'm not a fan, usually, of bacon or barbecue sauce, sweet things on my burger. But I'm going to give it a shot. I taste the bacon jam. That tot's kind of stuck in my throat. <laughs> huh? That tot's kind of stuck in my throat. Oh, no. Mm. It's a good burger. Like I said, I'm not a fan of sweet on my burgers, and this has got the candied bacon and the bacon jam, both sweet. I don't taste the garlic aioli at all. Maybe it was just in the bite I took. The crunchy onions either. There's, I'm going to take a good bite in the middle. That's all sweet. I don't taste the garlic aioli at all. So, hey, if you love a little different, I would rather just have a regular old Whopper, even though I haven't had one in years. But, yeah, I, I wouldn't get that again. But it is different. This one makes me nervous. This is the fiery fish. Let me make sure I got it right here with the description. The Fiery Big Fish, Alaskan Pollock with Crispy Panko Breading, a Triple Pepper Spicy Glaze, and Tartar Sauce, and Lettuce, and Pickles on a Toasted Potato Bun. Mm. There's the pickles. I assume the other sauce is underneath. Yeah. Mrs. Sheep might not like this one. I won't do a cross-section on this one because it's, it doesn't have as much stuff. I'm going to try it. Never had pickles on a fish sandwich before. And I'm good with lettuce on it. I need my veggies. I don't like spicy for spicy. I'm delicate. Well, no, it's, it is not real spicy. That is maybe like a mild wing sauce. For triple pepper, I was expecting some fire. Maybe the tartar sauce tames it down a little. Again, fish sandwich, I'm kind of a fan of just the plain. But this is pretty good. It's a good fish fillet, good and crunchy. I mean, not a thick fish fillet. But 
it's passable. I still love the McDonald's. We got to get that on a Friday because they got a Friday deal at McDonald's, you know, two of them for like six bucks or buy one, get one for a buck, something like that. Okay. Hey, BK going out there. They're big on doing a lot of different stuff, just kind of throwing stuff against the wall, see if it sticks. But uh, we'll eat these. This will be lunch, but not really a fan. If these are both for a limited time, that's that's fine with me.